Hey everyone, welcome to another video of mine. So, just finished work, and also, I can't forget, hey Jessica, my YouTube girlfriend, I hope you're doing well. Uh, I hope you thought the uh, couple of black and white photos that I posted on Instagram were funny, because that's what they're aimed for, to be funny. So, anyways, um, so let's see. Okay, so... Let's go with part three of me, because, well, I want people to get to know me, and, well, this is the way to do it. So, uh, first things first, if you haven't figured it out by now, I love the show Supernatural. And I just bought season 8 through 11 on DVD. Now, I already have season 1 to 7, and I have 1 to 12 on uh iTunes, but I want the actual, like, physical copy, not just, like, the, uh, the, uh, digital copy, which, don't get me wrong, I wanted the digital copy, like, that's, like, a given, uh, but I also wanted the, uh, um, the physical copy also, so, pretty much when I get home, I'm gonna, uh, continue on watching, uh, season 7, of Supernatural because I wanted to do that while the parents are out for the night. So, anyways, um, so yeah, uh, other shows that I like are, if you haven't figured it out, More From Black, which, in my opinion, is one of the best Canadian shows out there today, in my opinion. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm talking about, like, Canadian shows that are actually based in Canada. I know Supernatural is, is, even though it's filmed in Vancouver, it's based in America. So, really, even though you can say it's a Canadian show, it's not really, in a way. So, same with iZombie. That's filmed in Vancouver, but it's uh, set in Seattle, just like uh, Supergirl, Legends of Tomorrow, um... Arrow and The Flash, they're all filmed in Vancouver, they're all filmed in the same area as I, Zombie, and, uh, and Supernatural, but it's just, it, they're all set in the United States somewhere, so, anyways, uh, I just named a whole bunch anyways of TV shows that I like, uh, also, if you've never heard of it, there's a TV show called Chuck, which I love. Uh, if you've never heard of it, well then I'll briefly, hopefully, briefly explain, uh, what it's about. So, this guy who works at, like, at Best Buy, but it's called Buy More, um, gets, the, uh, gets this party, um, done for him because I believe it was his birthday or they're just trying to get him to mingle with some women because... He hasn't really, um, he hasn't really, like, gone out with women in a while because of his old girlfriend, which, at the time, I believe they didn't actually say. And then, um, he gets this email, uh, and his buddy, um, uh, Morgan Grimes tells him about it, so he goes over to his computer and he opens up the file, and the file is some, like, text-type text, uh, text type game, and he uh, wins the riddle, and all these images and videos load up, and he figures out, or, and all this government information and stuff like that go to his head. Now, um, after he's seen all the images and videos, and they all go up to his, uh, and go, all this information downloads into his brain. And when he wakes up, he kind of feels like he's drunk, even though he really isn't. And then when he gets to work the, for the first time, he, uh, flashes on something. Now, when I say flashes on something, I mean he either hears something or sees something. And, um this flash of information comes to him and he, he automatically knows this government uh, situation. So, 
because of this, the CIA and NSA both send their own agents. And then because of, they pretty much talk them into uh, going on missions. And so for pretty much the whole first season is him uh, going on missions, going on uh, and doing dangerous things that he would have never done and he, this gets him out of his shell. And then by I think either the end of the first season or the end of the second season, um, he, he gets it out of his head but because of a situation that he gets into, he has to re-download it and it's the new version. I believe it's like uh, some Intersect 2.0, which gives him the ability to do uh, martial arts, stuff like that. And then, so yeah, stuff like that. And I don't want to go too much more into it because I don't want to spoil too much, especially if you were going to go see it. So, uh, the people that are in it are Zachary Levi, Avon Strahovski, Adam Baldwin, Joshua Gomez, um, and I can't think of anybody else at the top of my head. But anyways, sorry. So, um, overall, that's my favorite TV show of all time right now. Even though other shows like Breaking Bad and uh, Game of Thrones and stuff like that, those are... Hold on a second... Those are the other shows that are amazing, and P PTS, or whatever, uh, by the way. Uh, my friend, who lives in Vancouver, who uh, works with uh, visual effects, uh, he did some. He has done some of the visual effects for Game of Thrones. So, a little tidbit of information. So, anyways, um... That's a little bit about me and what TV shows I like.